I mean, no god is a slave master, a torturer, and a killer of his animals, his babies. If he was, then he wouldn't be God. He'd be the devil. If that statement shocks you, bothers you, or brings up feelings of animosity towards me, the problem isn't with me and the things that I just said. The problem is that humans have victimized animals to such a degree that they aren't even considered victims. They aren't even considered at all. They're nothing, literally. They don't count. They don't matter. They're commodities like TV sets and cell phones. We've actually turned animals into inanimate objects. Sandwiches and shoes. It's the greatest magic trick ever performed, the animation switch. And besides the money made from selling their flesh, there's not even decent value on them as inanimate objects. The American flag, for example, which is nothing more than a piece of fabric. The Bible, which is nothing more than a book comprised of ink and paper, actually stir up more emotions than the murder of animals. If there were a pig roast near campus today, and somebody took a 12-inch blade and sliced the pig's throat, took a metal pole and shoved it through his you-know-what and out his mouth to cook his dead body on a rotisserie, there'd be a party. People would actually celebrate the killing, the killer, and the chef. But if somebody poured gasoline on the flag and the Bible, struck a match, set it on fire, Lord have mercy. There'd be an angry mob ready to kill somebody. These dead, inanimate objects, the flag and the Bible, are more sacred than animals. Living, feeling, breathing, sentient beings. Animals are victims, the most oppressed ever. And if you're having a tough time grasping this fact, it's probably because the only time you ever come into contact with cows and pigs and chickens and turkeys when they're cut up and dismembered on your dinner table. 